Okay, so now that we have loops and we also have data types like these ints where you can store things, um, it's time to get on to uh, methods or functions. And in C sharp they're called methods, in Java I think they're called methods. C++ they're called functions. It's roughly the same thing. So anyway, just some contrived basics here. Uh, I say static. Oops, I'll do lowercase static void a method, and I can come in here and say console write line. This is the first line in the method, and let's cut and paste that. Remember, Control L cuts, and then I can just paste. Uh, this is the second line. This is the third line. So remember that main is important. Essentially all your programs start in main and thus this uh, curly brace will be the opening line in the program that we have here. So I can come down here and I can say console write line uh, just my name. And if I run it then uh, let's see I'll hit F11 again and it comes here it prints my name and that's it the program's done executing. You see my name printed here. So I have up here another method or a block of code I can call upon or I can execute. So I'll come in here and say a method and when you call a method you have to put the parentheses here. So, and I'll get to the parentheses in the next video but for now I say a method which means I'm calling that method and then down here I'll put my uh, last name. So I'm going to F11 through this it calls console write line. Now here is the call out to a method. So when I hit F11 it's going to jump to the opening curly brace of a method. So F11, hey look, execution went up here. Then I can just step through this like I stepped through them before. Now that we get to the closing curly it jumps back to where the call came from. And in our case the call came from right here. So execution will jump back and then we execute the right line of king. So if I just run that and bring that up here, you can say, Jamie, this is the first line, this is the second line, this is the third line, and king. And a nice thing about a method is we put code in method that methods that we're going to use a lot. For example, I can recall this method down here and, and put teacher, I don't like teacher, let's say coach. Coach is a better word. Teacher is kind of just... Uh, just lecture. Anyway, so I'm going to say F11, step through, console write line, Jamie, jump to a method. Hey, we'll go up here, execute these three lines, get to the closing brace, and we have to jump back to where the call came from, which is right here. Output king. Hey, look, we're going to jump back over to a method. Hit F11, execute this code again. Um, notice we hit the closing curly brace. We have to jump back to where the call came from. In this case, the call did not come from here, but instead it came from here, the second one. So I'll hit F11, we jump back to there, and then I say coach. So I go over here, let's just run it. You can see, Jamie, here's the method output king, here's the method output again, coach, pressing a key to continue. Uh, just to mix this up a little bit, do for a little exercise, type this out, but instead uh, use a for loop to call the method 10 times instead of just calling it by hand here. So write a for loop from 1 to 10, but that will execute that method.